Hi, my name is John of Jade Rich Money, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, t a couple of you in the comments have been asking about how I did my bias binding on the June birthstone millinery. I'll this picture here. Um, in that one, I inlaid the cinema with a chiffon strip. So, in this video, I've got two ways of doing it. One of them is with a fabric and one isn't. Um, so, I showed you how to do the fabric one. But I, the hat that I made for this week, which you've probably seen from the video, uh, from the thumbnail anyway, is this one. So, this is cinema and a um, sequin film from Petersham's. And the flowers are made from the sequin film as well. Now, before we get started, this hat isn't actually 100% finished because it needs redoing. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to, I'll, like, I'll go through what, what I would do differently. But from like a sample learning, understanding how it works piece, I think it looks really stunning. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start, I have started with the cinema and I've cut some cinema into bias strips at around three inches wide. The cinema is from Petersham's and it is part of their budget cinema range. The colour I'm using here is the light blue cinema. I want the centre of the strip to be around an inch wide. So using a ruler, I measure where the fold should be. The first fold should be around half an inch from each edge. Next, I took it in on itself, making the fold a total of a quarter inch wide. I cut out some iridescent fabric at a width of one and a half inch on the bias and lay this into the centre of the bias strip. Using a ruler, I then push the edges into the fold, which I've loosened slightly and pressed down to secure. You could go ahead and sew on the edges if you wish, but I haven't done this. What I did instead was to press the cinema with a hot iron to set the cinema and this should hold the fabric into place. But for the second look, and look that we actually went with, Instead of fabric, I used this sequin film from Petersham's and the colour I used was light blue. The real name for this is Opaque Oil Slick Sequin Film. You can actually buy this by the metre or you can buy this by the roll, which is a 10 metre roll. I followed the exact same way as using the fabric, but this time I made it a little wider. To ensure the film strip was secure, I made sure to measure the film and cut with a sharp blade. Be sure to use a cutting mat though if you don't want to cut through onto your table like I did. So, okay, while we've got your attention for a couple of minutes, I just want to quickly talk to you about Patreon. Patreon is a service where fans and subscribers can connect with creators on YouTube, just like me, and help um, make a small monthly donation to the running of the channel. So I have tiers starting from just one pound per month, and I forgot what I was going to say then. <laughs> I've got tears from £1 per month and if even the £1 per month level will unlock all my posts. Not necessarily, you don't, there's lots of other things on top of that, but the tears do start from just £1 per month. So check the link out in the description box below. Um, there is none must, but it does help the funding of this channel. It enables me to really look into new materials um, and spend time doing, you know, producing these videos for you. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, you would like to subscribe to Patreon where you get Patreon only posts and Patreon only videos, then check the link in the description box below. And now back to our regular scheduled programming. The base is made with the same cinema, but I use two layers of cinema, then a layer of iridescent fabric, and then a layer of the cinema again. And this was blocked on the presser part of the block FHBS01 from Hatblocks Direct. I arranged the cinema strips into position, pinning them into place before stitching down where it needed any stitches. To make the flower, I cut out petals from the film and folded a little crease at the bottom of the petals. Here I'm using the same film but in the light pink opaque oil slick and the lilac translucent iridescent sequin film. And then using a piece of bias cinema, sew down the petals onto the cinema into like a pleasing flower shape. And this is actually quite hard 
not initially, but once you get a few on there, it is, can be quite hard as you're going to be sewing through many layers of film and it's hard to sew and I did kind of stand myself on what doing this. To hide the centre of the flower, I cut a circle of film um, from the original colour and sewed this into place with one stitch and then topped with crystals to hide the stitch. And then this, the flower was literally sewn to the hat and we're all done. Okay, so you've now seen how I managed, how I put this together and how I made the flowers. You can see how hard, it's not, it's not hard to sew. Well, it is because once you put a, um, a needle through it, that's it. You've put, punctured it out. It's a bit like leather um, to a degree. Whereas once you puncture it, that's it really. There's no coming back from that so you've got to be very careful you've got to be very precise where you put your stitches now I'm gonna put a couple of shots here first the first thing is um, I would make my edges of the cinema that I folded over wider because I didn't allow enough to, to you'll be able to see here um, where is it? Yeah, you'll be able to see here. And let me zoom in. Let me put a picture so you'll be able to see that closely. There wasn't enough for it to fold under correctly, so that was one issue that I came into. The second one is even when you steam it, because I actually steamed this with an iron, which I did put a towel over the top of it, but um, it still comes away from the film. So unless you Unless you uh, want to sew that down with the machine, I suppose that could work. Um, so that's one option. Um, I wouldn't use glue, that's for sure. And that leads into my third point is, glue doesn't work very well with this. Now, I, we don't use, I, I don't use glue very much on this channel, but um, as you can see, I've got some crystals here. Um, yeah, they will easily come off if they're knocked. In fact, um, on the flower at the back, there's a crystal missing here, which I knocked it straight away. Uh, so that is a slight issue as well. I'm still learning this. I'm still practicing. I'm still trying to figure out what works with this. Um, yeah, it's it's, but it looks it looks really stunning, and. Um, and yeah, like, you know, it gives a nice effect. It looks like, it, you know, it's very different. It looks classic, you know, that like this is like a classic turban, so to speak, with more of a modern feel, I would say. I would hope that what it looks like. Um, and yeah, like, it was just something different. And the thing is, you can take this, technique with making this and put any sort of flat sewable object so you know chiffon um cotton any type of fabric really um just something make sure the one thing to do is when you're cutting your fabric is to make sure you're cutting it on the bias so it actually has that nice flow the reason why i didn't make a hat out of the fabric um one was a i wanted to showcase this a little bit and b um when i steamed it even with a towel it kind of the, the fabric i used kind of creased a little bit so i was like okay right fine fair enough we won't go with this one um so yeah and the only other thing is like fingerprints like it's like you can because it's so shiny you can see uh, fingerprints very easily on this so you yeah once you've finished working with it, it kind of needs a polish which isn't I suppose isn't going to be really good for making the flowers so 
you would maybe need to think about using this in a different way and you know i've got a fair bit of this material so i am going to be playing around with it a lot more and trying to figure out what it does and how best to use it and obviously you'll see that in an upcoming video thank you very much for watching it's lovely to see you all again and I will see you next week because next week, oh my God, I have a, a gorgeous, gorgeous hat. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So I will see you next week for that video. Bye.